Hey guys, Double Wide Six, and I recently got some pretty nice torque wrenches. Now, I own a business and I do small engine repair, and I don't need snap on top of the line tools. And I was looking around for some torque wrenches that were high quality and affordable, and I found one that I really like, and I want to show it to you guys. So, here's a look at the E Torque torque wrench. This one is the 3 8 and it's in inch pounds and this is really cool the way they have this thing set up there's like this dial on here and what you do is you you pop out the lock and you can watch the screen here so as I turn this this is in inch pounds or Newton meters so right here it's at 60 we're approaching 70 if I wanted to go to 75 there's a zero on the bottom and We'll go to 73, three and a half, four, four and a half, five. And then when you get it set, you just push the bottom in, it locks in. So it's very easy to set, especially compared to a uh, micrometer grip torque wrench, which I never really found much of a problem setting these. But the issue that I had is these cheaper torque wrenches from like, let's say Harbor Freight, uh, I I don't think that they stay in range. You always want to store your torque wrench not torqued or keep it on zero. But I've had problems with actually breaking some of the smaller fasteners that I've used in the past just because the torque wrench wasn't clicking. So that's why I'm really happy to show off these new uh, better torque wrenches. So I'll show you how this tool works. We'll go take a look. So for today's project, I have a transmission from a zero-turn tractor. It has smaller fasteners that uh, are set to inch-pounds. It should be anywhere from 105 to 155 inch-pounds. So this should be a good example for you guys. I'm going to go to 85 inch-pounds. So there's 82, 4, 5. And now what I'll do is I'll click the handle and we are locked in place. Now I'll show you the operation of the tool. So with the tool all set, gotta get the ratchet going the right way. We will set it up on the fastener. You wanna be sure that you just hold the handle and listen for the click. Boom, there we go, that one's set at 85. This one, we're set. One click's good enough, you gotta trust your tool, fellas. This rotating mechanism really works well. So I'm at 150, 5, you can lock it, and we will torque these now to the second stage. There's that one. This one I never did the first stage. Very nice click that you can tell that the bolt has reached its maximum torque. Before you store the tool, you always want to back the spring pressure off so it shows you that you don't want to go back any further than that. So when the tool's at the stop position, you want to make sure that you store it in the case, just like that, and lock it down. Of course, with torque wrenches, you want to be careful Try not to drop them, try and store them at, you know, 70 degrees would be really good for these tools. I also have the digital torque wrench from eTorque, so I'll show you what that one looks so like. So eTorque also makes digital torque wrenches. Here is their digital torque wrench. All their tools come. This is like a certification of calibration, it says. And uh, you can see the tool has been tested for quality control within 3% of what it's supposed to be. And this is a battery powered tool and I believe it actually takes um, like watch batteries. So, all right, it's, it's in the stop or storage position. And here's how this works. You'll pull out the handle just like the manual tool. And once the handle's pulled out, you can rotate it 
and you can see right now how easy is this there's 21 inch pounds and as you turn the knob here very nice and smooth so we're at 60 inch pounds if you click the handle in like that it's all set now you can also switch the units here which is really nice so you can go from inch pounds to newton meters from newton meters to kilogram centimeters and finally you can go to foot pounds so that's really cool it makes the conversion right there to keep things simple for you one other thing the uh just the feel and the quality of the tool feels great you can see they have the the brand that's how it's spelled e-t-o-r-k and then it looks like they have a website made in china and then over here which is really nice it has the specifications of what the tool is capable of doing as far as torque specs so that's pretty cool i think all their tools come with that etched on there so i'll show you how this digital one works on the uh, transmission so we're going to set it at 105 inch pounds and just turn in the handle there's 105.4 it says i'm going to lock that and we should be able to torque it now i loosen these back up we'll put the wrench on there put that on forward and here we go we're going and as i'm pushing we can listen and you just heard the click let's do another one so those are all set at 105 inch pounds so can you use an extension with a torque wrench well we're going to go over it so if you want to use an extension that's fine so we'll put an extension on here now my socket you just want to make sure that when you use an extension that you hold the tool nice and straight with any torque wrench you want to make sure that you're grabbing the tool on the handle not up here not putting a pipe all the way out on the back you want to hold it right at the handle because that's how the tools are calibrated and supposed to be used right out of the factory so put it on the bolt you can support the head to keep it nice and straight and now I'll torque it and that bolt's already set so it didn't even move but we heard the tool click very accurately you don't want to get on an angle because then when that head is not straight in line with the bolt that's when the tool becomes off all right so for instance if you have a universal socket I wouldn't recommend using one okay because if you can get on it without it then do it that way but if you turn the the head of the torque wrench out to the side it's going to make the tool inaccurate so you want to watch your grip on the tool and you want to make sure that you always keep that head right in line with the bolt head so that's pretty much what you need to know about using a torque wrench so as i was saying these are pretty nice torque wrenches that e-torque makes and they're affordable they're for sale directly from their website or from amazon i even saw some on ebay they make torque wrenches in pretty much every size that you would want like quarter three eighths and half inch and it's cool that these digital ones switch the scale as i showed you automatically and uh I really think that they're, you know, a well-made tool. They feel nice. Everything's, you know, really nice about it. So, uh, anyhow, the brand's eTorque, and I'll put some links down below, and uh, hopefully you guys found this video useful. All right, guys, double wide six. Don't forget to subscribe. Take care.